A lot of people want to know, Matt, what the fuck is up with Agent Under Fire? I love this when it came out, and we're just going to just dive right into it, like James Bond would dive into a pile of sex. Oh, money, Penny. Um, I'm just up here at Oxford, brushing up on a little Danish. So the thing with Agent Under Fire is that it was the first PS2, GameCube, Xbox, James Bond game, and a lot of people looking forward to it. Uh, what a lot of people don't know is that it actually started as a PS2 PC version of The World Is Not Enough. And like halfway through the development, they're like, what, are we stupid? That movie's like two years old now. So they kind of scrapped that, canceled the PC version, and then made Agent Under Fire, which is not based on any movie, any book, any anything. And it stars fucking Bruce Wayne over here. Beep, beep, boop, boop, beep, beep, boop, 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 beep. This I'm fucking dead. What? Whoa, whoa! Everyone, calm down. Holy shit! So the the big famous thing that this game has is Bond moments. You have to do something that Bond would do, which is use his stupid little grappling hook in his cell phone. Whoa, whoa. Um, hmm. Fuck you, I guess. Ooh, man, it looks a little rough in there. Oh, it's what am I looking at? Like a underground Amazon Amtrak? I don't. I got my Q laser. Gonna have to Q laser the shit up. Oh, I got really hot. Alright, we know now. Alright, it's fine. I believe you. I'm Bond, you know? Careful, 007. So, I like this uh, in, in the sense that this is the most underground uh, villain lair ever. So, it's setting off the mood right. And it's one of those classic 007 things. Like, uh, from the, the 60s and 70s and 80s, where, like, all of everything... Oh, man. All the bad guys in Bond were just the stupidest assholes. Oh, jeez. Ooh. I wonder what you got. Oh. Remember, kids, explosives. So what is the story here? Double Seven, the CIA has come to us for assistance, as they always do. And Mrs. Zoe Nightshade. Oh, Jesus. Recently set out a distress signal since you're already on location in Hong Kong... Why do Chinese girls taste different from all other girls? You think we better, huh? No, just different. You saw this as an opportunity to help out our American friends. Aw, oh, thank you, Britain. Oh. 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 So you know this is a PS2 GameCube Xbox game. Um, it doesn't look all that much better. It's really early in the generation. Oh, wow. And you have that mid-level loading. Oof. It's a little rough. Wow, okay, that was fucking sudden. The Frenzy Shotgun has appeared in the last three James Bond games we've played, so sure. I love how those little uh, vials are there, just like, oh, so you can see the explosion of the bullets. Oh my god. That's fucking hilarious. Oh shit, now that is awesome. Oh, I better kill that guy, I guess. Oh no, I want a gun. Not that one. Oh, what's the villain's diabolical plan? But, oh, what are you going to find out, Bruce Wayne? Don't lie to me. Uh-huh. You're a spy. No, Bond doesn't like that. Look at that nerd. Go to hell. This is the most super villain thing I've seen ever. This is like Hank Scorpio type shit. Yeah, Bond's like, uh-huh. Mm. Mm. Oh my god, there's a shark swimming too. That's fucking great. Oh, oof. Ooh. Be careful, though. Yeah, I saved you. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, my God. That bond is ridiculous. Run, you guys. I already saved you. There's no time for this. Make out. Make out right now. That would be awesome. Ah, oh, they didn't make out. Okay, got four out of seven bond moves. I subdued all the enemies. My ammo efficiency was not great. My weapon accuracy was not great. My damage taken was not great. And I didn't finish any of that well. Well, that's a lot of bonus stuff. That's cool. I've unlocked a golden gun! Yeah, that's a fun thing. Okay, let's just take a look at our pause screen for a second. We got the lady doing kata, the silhouette lady just working it. Uh, you got your objectives. Infiltrate the Identicon facility. Locate the missing files. We gotta get that serum through. Whoa, shit. Okay, well, that we're just... Right, I, that was a bond moment, I, I, I think. There you go. So while not really a vehicle section, it's a fun rail section. I mean, oh shit. Oh shit. 
Okay, I guess I guess Nightshade is fucking just handling the driving duties on this one. Oh wow, that was close. See, I also feel that if you have a Bond game, you have to have some sort of rail sequence or a uh, vehicular section because that's the most Bond thing in the world. Like, I can't think of a Bond movie that doesn't have a chase of some sort. Yeah, fuck you, the gas station works for MI6. The legendary 007 wit. Or at least half of it. Oh, wait, did I do a thing? What's happening? Uh-huh, yeah, then what? Oh, up here? I completed the mission! Fuck you guys. You guys all stupid. Wow, those are the vials! Oh my god, our green car is so lame looking. Yeah, fuck you. I'm coming through. It's me. It was me, Bond. So, one of the big things I remember of Agent Under Fire is that since it was, uh, the Bond license was, was under EA's control, they made a big thing about, uh, oh, well, we got the Need for Speed team working on the vehicle sections. That's a thing, right? And everyone was like, I, I, I guess. Going up, sure, why not? I gotta get my Q pulse on. Mission complete, that's all I needed. All right, so this is one of the, the, the first actual hard missions in the game where you actually need to use a bit of stealth, a bit of luck, and a whole lot of luck. How is no one seeing this, you guys? Come on. I can't... What is this weird stink eye he always has? Mm. This is one of those things that takes you out of the experience a little bit because whoever the Bond actor is at the time, you kind of want to feel that you're playing him. Like, it's how, even the N64 GoldenEye, like, it looked like, you know, Pierce Brosnan. Oh, man. You have to hold down the button for uh, stealth mode. I have a Trank gun, so at least that's good. Ah, the flag of the Dreamcast. I think I remember that in some movie, you poison some dude or a girl or a kid. I, I really honestly forget. Sean Connery would poison a kid if he could. I haven't found out yet. <gasps> Still haven't found out. This is the best ladder climbing animation I've ever seen. No, I'm busy. I, I have no time for objectives. I go, wow, what did she do, just farting up behind that curtain? That was kind of weird. Yeah, so I can, I can see, oh yeah, look at this big ugly face. Oh, I'm going to get in there. I'm going to use this microchip on her? Wow, that's too much. Oh, she's so spiky and polygony. Listen, I'm going to get to the bottom of this. You're going to tell me everything. Ah, the DARPA chief. M, I found. Hmm. He's been tortured to death. Looks like an interrogation gone. Pfft, yeah. Oh no! no I actually didn't see that coming. Bonte, what? Huh? See you. Unfortunately, I am the last thing they will ever see. What is this a boss fight? I'm just gonna shoot you though. Wow. All right. Sure. Oh my god. It's fucking, they look like stock characters out of like Final Fight Streetwise. Look at our plastic asses. You love it. I already am. Yes, okay, thank you, Bond. We really needed that. Ah, uh, back to business. Well, holy shit, that's evil. Press the action button to engage the cable hook. Uh, yeah, I think. Uh, yeah. Make sure the Dr. Domestic. I'm just gonna hang out and suspiciously hold my ear. You know, in Casino Royale, Bond specifically told that guy, don't fucking hold your ear. It is the most suspicious shit ever. People go nuts when they see you hold your ear. If you want people to go nuts, hold your ear. Oh, okay, all right. Oh, you know what? No, yeah, I don't think you need that, Bond. Oh, hey, don't look, kids. Getting a little steamy. Don't look, kids. Oh, it's getting a little steamy. Oh. The latest in hollow oh, fuck you. Destroy a gunship? Fuck, lady. Shit. 
Let him play a play. The famous James Bond. Fuck off. What? How'd you not die? Oh, pipe down, 007. Oh, I see my clever game that I'm gonna play on you, stupid green-suited lady. Yeah! Into the vat of acid where you came from. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What happened? She's fallen for me. Oh! Oh, are you okay, sir? Sir, are you drunk, sir? I, I can help with that. Are, are you dead? I, 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 it's hard to tell. Are you just spinning? You're just spinning crazy. Oh, shit! Whoa! Yeah, that makes sense. So, you know, before we call it a day, let's just check out a little bit of what the multiplayer offers in Agent Under Fire. Start game, player options, player character, who we got? Red team, Agent Wayne, character, Bond. Super Thug! Twin, evil Zoe clone, spoilers. Griffin clone, oh my god, the clones are a big thing in this game, I forgot, holy shit. Block. Big rig diver. Weapons, lot of photon cannon. Holy shit. All right. Player character weapons, power ups, modifiers. Holy shit! One gravity. Ooh, lots of options. Golden bullet, speed, no falling damage. Holy crap! Whoa! Oh, rolling start. Rolling start. RCP. Oh shit! Holy crap! Oh man. Woo, this is this is a little more multiplayer -y than I thought. Wow, that bot's crazy. Fuck you, fuck you. Oh shit. Oh Jesus. Holy crap, the photon cannon. Fuck you, fuck you. Are you dead? Oh my god, you're not dead. Yeah, nice. This actually feels pretty fun. Like, it's very arcadey and, and feels a lot faster than any other Bond multiplayers I can remember playing recently. So, Agent Under Fire, it actually holds up. It's it's a little finicky in the control department because all of the fucking uh, gadgets and the weapons are all just mapped to the D-pad. takes forever to scroll through them. But the multiplayer has a lot of options. There's some replay value with the missions, although they seem a little short. I'm actually surprised at how well it holds up. Alright, now how does Agent Under Fire stack up as a general first person shooter? Like I said, its controls are a little finicky, some things look pretty dated, but overall it's, it's good fun, especially the multiplayer. I give it 3 Bruce Wayne faces out of 5. Huh, but how does it stack up as a 007 game? There's lots of gadgets, the implementation of the Bond moves is cool, but all this is kind of hampered by the no actor licenses or the voice acting, and the plot feels very thin and a bit too video gamey, but that's because it is. This evens out to another 3 out of 5 Bruce Wayne noggins. Pretty middle of the road. He certainly left with his tails between his legs.